Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, Warrior Martial Arts Rice Bag Trainer. Just want to explain a little, about, a little bit about what it's used for, uh, some of the drills you can do on it, and you know the comparison to training with this uh, along with a wooden dummy, of course. Uh, but just to show you some of the differences of the drills that you can do. Okay, you have a, uh, a padded spring arm, which is always on the center line. Now again, in Wing Chun and JKD center line training, this is ideal. Um, and the reason for that is, in the original wooden dummy design, you have the two upper arms, which come out at approximately 15 degree angle. And the idea for this is that when you stand on the center line, when you make contact with these arms, you're in the finished position of the block. So you're not actually removing anything from the center line, you're imagining a strike on the center line, and you redirect to the side. Uh, the reason why we came up with the rice bag trainer simply is that now this gives you an actual strike on the center line. So offensively, you can look at it as you can clear the center line. When you're here, you clear and you attack your targets behind. Okay, defensively, you look at this as this is a strike now coming at you, which you now deflect, take off the center line, and you attack the targets behind. That's the principle of this trainer. Uh, you have a head and a body target, which are canvas bags uh, filled with rice. That's where we get the name Rice Bag Trainer. And then below, you have a Makawara board at an angle, which is ideal for knee strikes. So you can do multiple techniques on here using both hands and knees. As you can see, you can do a lot of flowing drills with this. Uh, I'm going to illustrate some drills that you would do with the partner uh, from the bridge position, which would be here. Um, I'm going to show you how you can do those same exact drills on the rice bag train. Okay, I'm here with Jeremy, and we're going to do a few drills uh, to illustrate how the drills that you would do with a person are going to translate to uh, training on the rice bag trainer. This is a very basic drill called the pot da drill. Okay, now to show the same exact drill on the rice bag trainer. From the bridge position, ta, catch, ta, catch, bone sow, ta, catch, ta, switch, view sow, ta, catch, ta, catch, ta, catch, ta, catch. As you can see, the motion is the same. You always have a limb, it's always on the center line, it's a partner which is always there for training. <clears throat> Okay, second drill we're going to show you is called a tan pak da drill. So it's tan pak da, tan pak da, tan pak da. Okay, on the trainer. Okay, one more drill we're going to do. This is called the Pak Busau drill. That was a Pak Busau drill, and we're going to show you the same one on the right spare trainer. Okay, as you can see, it's a very useful tool. Uh, the reason why we came up with this idea is pretty much I didn't have a training partner when I first moved to PA. So a piece of equipment like this is ideal when you need a partner to train with and someone to do energy drills with.